West Virginia is on a roll. Literally, they have already finished the first round of vaccinations for nursing home residents. That means that they are the first state in the country to do so. And now as they get ready to welcome students back into the classroom next week, the race is on to immunize teachers and staff over the age of 50. So what's the plan? Joining me now live to talk about it is WVU pharmacy professor Dr. Krista Capehart. Doctor, thank you for talking to us tonight. Sure, thank you so much for having me. It's my pleasure. You somehow managed to get the first vaccine dose to 18,000 eligible teachers, staff, and bus drivers in just nine days. How did that happen? Well, it takes a lot of teamwork, but West Virginia was a little bit different in our approach. We actually didn't activate um, our the federal pharmacy partnership. We uh, recognize that in West Virginia, about 45% of our pharmacies are independents, 55% are chains. So we actually utilized our structure that we had. It's the same approach we took to our long-term care facilities. And uh, we utilized a hybrid approach. We welcomed all pharmacies in the state to be part of the partnership and um, we set up uh, 55 actually 56 clinics um, wow. last week and this week and um, at the end of the day we should have reached eight around 18,000 vaccinations uh, for our teachers and school personnel over um, 50 this week. What is the plan to vaccinate the remaining teachers before kids in West Virginia return to the classroom? So as vaccine becomes available, the pandemic leadership will let us know and we will continue with those um, as soon as that's available as, as uh, what the pandemic leadership and the governor has let us know that. How are you getting past the challenges that a lot of other states are running into right now? Well, I think it's really important to utilize um, all of your vaccinators. Um, so not just a select few, opening it up to all of your partners that you have in the community. Um, so we're utilizing our school-based health centers, our local pharmacies, our chain pharmacies, our hospitals, um, our local health departments, really everyone working as a team. Um, and with the school-based health centers and our local pharmacies working together, we were able to partner up for all 55 counties in West Virginia to have one and two in our, in our largest county to really knock out all of these individuals. Why do you think it's important for us to vaccinate our teachers, the teaching aides and the bus drivers as soon as possible? Well, we really need that um, next line of defense to keep all of these individuals as safe as possible. Our kids and our, our our teachers really want to be back into the classroom. Our community, uh, our schools are a, a uh, bedrock of our community. They help to provide structure, feed our, uh, feed our children, and really um, are so much of the backbone of our, our communities. And so that's why it's make sure, why, that's why it's so important that we make sure that everyone is as safe as possible in those environments. Even today, Pennsylvania leadership was facing some criticism from state senators and politicians. Have you had anyone from Pennsylvania call down in West Virginia to ask how you're getting it done? You know, we've had re we've had a lot of states reach out. We've actually even had um, some international um, individuals reach out to find out exactly how we're uh, being so successful. And I think that it truly is that team based approach and making certain that we're utilizing all of the resources to do so safely and effectively. So Pennsylvania hasn't called. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I, I uh, make sure that I do what I'm asked to do in the order in which I've asked to do it. Understood, understood. Well, Dr. Krista Capehart, <laughs> thank you for your time tonight.